So the Molly F government will reverse the fertilizer cut, we'll eliminate the carbon tax, we'll get the red tape off the backs of our farmers, and we will grow our food here in Canada again. And we will unleash the full might and production of Canada's energy sector to produce our energy right here. terminals for natural gas. Do you know many, how many have been built? Zero. Zero. Zero in seven years, zero have been built. A month ago, we saw this the incredible, humiliating result of that decision, right? Yeah. Trudeau had to violate his own sanctions against Putin in order to send him a turbine that we had been maintaining in Montreal that goes on his pipeline. Isn't it funny? We thought that the mayor of Montreal was against pipelines, but he's not against maintaining Russian pipelines and doing the work right here in Canada for that maintenance. So now that turbine goes back to pump natural gas from Russia to Germany, which Germany will pay for to fund the war against Ukraine. In other words, we are literally helping the Russians finance their invasion and attack against the, the, the Ukrainian people by our unwillingness to produce the energy right here in Canada. We have enormous advantages in producing energy in this country, particularly natural gas. The shortest shipping distance to Europe from Canada, from North America, excuse me, is Newfoundland. It's a lot shorter than from the southern Gulf Coast. Furthermore, in order to liquefy that gas and get it on a ship, what do you have to do? Cool. cool it down. What do we have in Canada? <laughs> Cold weather is our most abundant natural resource, right? 